Number two, make a budget. You know, to be honest, I don't have too much cash to spend on this. I know we're acting stupid. Welcome back to another video. If you cannot tell, I'm in a different space and all I've done is I've been creative and I've just flipped the camera around. I'm on the other side of the table compared to where I was uh, last time. But basically I thought I'd just give a bit of a status, follow up to the, the last video which I made and just kind of, you know, explain what the plan is. Because judging by that first video, when I watched it back, I was like, God damn, this guy has no plan whatsoever. But I actually do, it's just that I didn't, I didn't share it yet. Basically, I'm thinking of this this whole project as like a 10, 10 step rocket. Houston now controlling. Roger roll, Discovery. 10 step rocket, I don't know if that makes sense for everyone, but apparently I've watched this on, on TV when they launch a rocket, all kinds of different parts fall off. And I'm thinking that, you know, once we get to the moon, we'll have 10 parts which are dropped off. So the first one, number one, is make a business plan. And obviously this is something that I've already done. But like I said, I didn't really want to share all of the details about the product before and too early. I, I've already done that, but I don't really want to share it yet. We'll, we'll share it in a bit. Obviously in this, there's also market research which was done and kind of looking at, you know, what are the competitors? What's the market like? Is there potential for this? And basically what I conclude is there's no direct competitors. There's a lot of indirect competitors and ones that have been along for a long time. Libraries, they're called, or bookstores. But there's no direct competitor to, to this, this thing which I'm thinking of. So that's probably good, good news, I hope. I don't know if that just means that no one's been able to do it yet or, you know, all the other ones have failed, I don't know. But it seems like it could be some potential there. Number two, make a budget, you know. To be honest, I don't have too much cash to spend on this. I have maybe, I'll explain a bit more where all the cash, or all the cash, where the cash came from and how it will continue coming in throughout the course of this project. I probably have, you know, 50,000 Swedish crowns, which is around 5,000 euros, 6,000 dollars to begin with. And that's kind of like the starting capital to get it going at first. But then at the same time, from other sources with this business that I have, I'll have some, a little bit of money coming in each month, which we'll use to this. And I don't know, maybe we run out of money. I have a daytime job as well. Maybe we'll just end up selling this whole apartment, you know, uh, living in a cardboard box and eating ramen noodles for half a year. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Could be, probably not. But I'll go through in more detail when I actually make that whole, whole budget. Because I think I'm going to do that once I'm done with the initial app. Because building the initial app is not going to cost anything other than my time. If you want to look at it and be really precise and consider the opportunity cost, I'm not going to do that because I'm not that smart. Number three is that I'm going to jot down all of the product requirements. So I'm going to say, okay, this is what I wanted to do. And this, I think I'm going to include this in the whole product design. Like, you know, the UI, UX uh, design of the of the app because when you do that you can quite clearly see what the functions of the app are. I think it's going to start off relatively simple and then maybe you know if it works out and if there's if I want to keep doing it I'll add more to it later but to begin with it's going to be quite quite simple just do the one task that it's intended to do. Number four begin coding and I think this will be kind of you know this stage four will overlap all the other ones because I think it's going to take quite a while to do all the coding for the app and you know, it's not maybe not that fun to only do that. So I'm gonna to try to spread that out and do that throughout all of the other uh, steps. Then I'm thinking that number five is gonna be content outline. And basically when I say content, this is the content that's gonna be in the app. What kind of content do I want to bring in from external sources, put that in the app? Do I want to make it myself? Do I want to buy it from someone? Do I want to, you know, have a rev share agreement with someone else who produces the content? And we're gonna need a lot, and I mean a lot of content. It's not necessarily free most of the time, so I think this is where the majority of that six thousand dollars, five thousand euros is going to go to at the beginning, and probably a bit of marketing. But the vast majority is going to go to the acquisition of this content. The good thing is, though, that once you acquire this content, you know that's yours. That's your intellectual property. Because I'm not planning to uh, share it with anyone else. I want to own the stuff outright. So I, at least that's a good news, and that will be. I think you can, on your balance sheet, I think you can call that an asset to the business, I'm not entirely sure. At least, you know, it won't be cash which I'm just throwing away, it will be actually buying intellectual property, which hopefully is worth something. Number six, this will come a bit later when I've understood the product a bit more, and that's make a marketing plan. Who do we want to target, how do we want to target them, how can we get new users spending as little cash as possible, 
uh, how much are we willing to spend to acquire a new user, etc. And in the beginning, we won't really have the data to, to do all of those things. It's going to be a, a bit of a guessing game, you know, how much do you think a, a user is worth over 60 months, 30 months, 12 months? How much are we willing, how much of that, what percentage are we willing to spend to get a new user? That's going to be quite fun to learn. And, you know, obviously when you have a lot of data points, like if you're Spotify or if you're Apple Music or whatever, you know that, okay, a Spotify subscriber is going to be worth this much over 60 months. I don't know that. It's probably, you know, maybe they end up leaving after one month. Maybe they stay for eight years. I have no clue. So that's going to be a bit of a guessing game at the, at the start. But I guess that's the, the fun part as well. Number seven, and that's after I've made this content plan, which was step number five. Uh, step number seven will be to start acquiring this content and it's going to be quite a process It's probably going to take take a couple of weeks to get all this content, you know, set it up Tag it decide what kind we want to do all kinds of things with it edit it in some cases and then put it up on the app So that's probably going to take a while. So that's why I put that as step Seven step number eight is going to be to start testing the product So this is when we have the app we have the content we've merged them together and it's time to start testing You know does this work does this app work are the bugs or the crashes can you actually do what it's intended to do? And then that's probably going to be me testing it, maybe some friends, maybe some uh, focus groups, I think you call it, if you're into market research and all that kind of stuff. But maybe just sending it to a couple of friends saying, hey, test this, what do you think? But to be fair, I don't really have too many friends which are the target market of this app, so maybe I'll try to find some people on social media or like family, friends or, or whatever, we'll work it out. Then number nine, this is going to be launch product. So this is where we implement the marketing plan, we've tested the product so that it's fine, we start acquiring users, seeing how that goes and basically just adapt based on that. And then number 10, of course, always when you launch something the first time, there's gonna be a lot of initial flaws, like is it supported on all kinds of phones? Do you need support on iPad? Does it need to be able to have a web app, for example? Like there's all kinds of things which are gonna come up when, when it's launched. So that's why I've dedicated a whole 10th step to, to that. Yeah, so right now, like I said, I've made a business plan. Um, I've kind of made the budget in my head, not really, not really detailed. I'll go through in more detail once I've made the whole whole budget and you know actually show you because probably at this point this seems like it's a talk show. But it's really not meant to be. This is kind of like the introduction of it, if you will. And I'll see you later. I know we're acting stupid.